my name is Pastor Chekerwa. Do you know that Jesus is coming again? The whole creation waits for that day. In the Bible, on 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19, the Bible records, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from evil. Yes, Jesus is coming again. Yes, the foundations of the Lord standeth true. They are sure. When the word of God speaks, it's final. It dwells forever. Remember, he said, let there be light in the beginning, and that light is still shining up to this day. And he says, you shall surely die. One statement goes for eternity. Understand, therefore, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. There is a lot of error. There's a lot of truth. But those that stand in the truth, they will stand in the truth like steel. True to the truth like steel. Firm, they cannot be moved. Their faith is hard, like the granite rock. It cannot crack. Therefore, if persecution comes, they surely standing on the word of God. The word of God's foundation is sure. It cannot be shaken. I don't know what you believe in, but as we go towards the end of time, it's only those who are well founded in the word, whose foundation is sure, that cannot be moved. And then the Bible says, He knoweth them that are His. Are you of the Lord? If you are, He knows you. Now whom says, He even knows the prayers of those that call upon Him. Those that are His, He knows them. In the book of John, He says, My sheep know my voice. Therefore, if you are one of His, He knows you. It gives us great joy to know that He knows us. He knows what I'm going to eat. He knows where I'm going to sleep. Even during difficult times, when my table is empty, when all friends are gone, the Lord knows everyone who calls upon me His name. He knows you by name. He even knows you where you come from. He knows even the deepest things in your heart. He knows them. So therefore, you are standing on the sure foundation of the Word of God. And He knows you by name. And then He also says, those that nameth the name of Christ must depart from evil. Depart from evil. In other words, stop sinning. If you really want to march into the pearly gates, that in those, through those days, no sin will pass. Therefore, it's important that we walk away from evil. The word is clear. Depart from evil. Those that are called by the name of the Lord, isn't it? He says, those that are called by my name, if they repent, if they call upon my name, repentance is vital. Repentance is important. For us to be able to enjoy and be together with him when he comes again, remember, you have to walk away from evil, walk away from iniquity, walk away from sin. Stop sinning and be ready for his coming. Oh yes, he is coming.